Hi guys! Hello! Welcome to this show. Can you tell what it is if you don't read the description down below? And don't look up here, apparently. <laughs> uh, you'll figure it out soon. It's either Buffy or Angel. Buffy. Buffy? My money's on Buffy. Let's go for broke. Where do they get the CAT scan from? It's an acronym. I mean, do they test it on cats or? I would hope not. Or does the machine sort of look like a cat? Don, I'm really. She's coping, help her cope. This dark spell I hold in my worthless and scabby hand is our gift to you. I like how she's Most not anywhere that they were saying. She's just like, bougie. call me Glory. Get out. Look at you just hurting my neck. Gloria? Forgive me, shiny special one. I beg of you to rip out my inadequate tongue. Give me. Oh. <laughs> Duh. This pump make my ankle look bony. No. No, no, no you terrifically smooth one. It is the epitome of ankles. I, to touch such no, an ankle. No, you terrifically I'm smooth one. I'm, I'm backing away. I'm out. Ah. Thank you. Your voice is like a thousand sweet songbirds. Yeah, I never tire of hearing that. Look, so we're clear. <laughs> this spell's gonna work, right? I mean, nothing worse than a gift that doesn't work. It will work, your extremeness, provided you have the other items you need. Don't worry. I'll have them, all right. Buffy? Oh, you're being a creep, man. Oh, you're being a creep. Know. What, me? Was, um, oh! What are you doing here? Looking for the girl who's gonna rip your arms off when she finds out you're in her bedroom. Oh, yeah, you well, cream? me too. Were you just smelling her sweater? <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. It's the stuff. <laughs> Slayer muscles. Bitter and aggravated. <laughs> oh my god, what? No. Seriously? I'm trying not to go for it. I know for a bleeding fact the Slayer wouldn't mind me being here. Right. What's a little sweater sniffing between sworn enemies? You go in the habit of buying her enemies drinks, because she spent the better part of last night with me doing just that. Because you guys are such tight pals. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Tell me another. Twice in recent memory, she's had the lover wickers do a D invite on the house, keep out specific vamps. Ever ask yourself why she's never taken my name off the guest list? Yeah, I was going to say, he's still inside her house without her being here. Because you're harmless. So... Oh, yeah, right. Takes one to know, I suppose. At least I still got the attitude. What you got? Piercing glance. <sighs> Face it, white bread. Buffy's got a type and you're not it. She likes this dangerous, rough, occasionally bumpy in the forehead region. Not that she doesn't like you, but sorry, Charlie. You're just not dark enough. Hey! I don't know anything about Buffy. You never did. I'm the one that knows what she is. Oh, yeah? That's why you're with her at the hospital right now, giving her what she needs. What are you talking about? Mama's sickly. <laughs> Buffy took her to the hospital for a bit of prod and probe. Bite-sized woman, too. Funny her not calling you about that. I've known since last night. Like, it's hard to be mad at that, though, because, like, obviously her mind is focused on her mom right now. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Sorry. So... And see, he's not mad. I'm glad. I just... I mean, until we knew what it was. I understand. Will you sit with Dawn while I talk to Mom? She's in the waiting room. Yeah, yeah, you got it. Mom, what did they find? A shadow. The doctor says it's too early to be concerned. No concern. Right. Just a shadow. So this is really sad because it feels like the first time we're actually circles. dealing with a sickness and not an enemy, jazz. but when she said shadow, uh, I'm like, it's some kind of shadowy enemy, and I'm trying to go back and see if there was like an enemy that we've already faced that was shadowy. There's no way we can determine her moves, her habits, where she'll turn up next. I think uh -oh. oh, hi. I want these. Yeah, she could be anywhere. But if she's as powerful as uh, Buffy says, I imagine it won't be long before she makes herself known. Oh, gosh. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> Your mother has the term is low-grade glioma. It's a brain tumor. Unfortunately, things may progress very quickly. Mm. Things. What things? Symptoms. There's a fair variety that might present. Uh, mood swings. But what can we do? 
not much until we determine if the tumor is operable. There are a number of new treatments that are very promising. She has a real chance. What's a real chance? Nearly one out of three patients with this condition does just fine. Now let me ask, does your mother's insurance company require copies of the MRI and pathology reports? I'm not sure. Excuse it's me, a Doc. huge responsibility really for somebody that's like just not 18. The guy's great, but he doesn't have that bone in his head that tells him when to back off. He really is a good doctor. Your mom's in good hands. Thank you. That's a good thing to say. Like everything that he just said was on point. Because otherwise if he said like, he's an idiot, it's yeah. like, he he's taking care of my mom right now. Nothing I can do. Well, I just mean go out, get some air. You know, magic, a healing spell. Buffy, people get sick. I don't think magic can help. That attitude's not helping. Okay. I need to talk to Giles. What do you want me to tell Don about your mom? Tell her we don't know anything yet. What? You sold someone a Coles amulet and a Sobekian bloodstone. Oh, she would know. She's like, I got this Christine down. Or something? <laughs> I'm going to answer that question with a firing. <laughs> She's kidding. I mean, the the, the Sabikian transmogrification spells were lost thousands of years ago. And besides, the young woman to whom I sold them would have to have enormous power. Young woman? You guys were all there. Don't just blame him. It's fair. <laughs> you were all there. I'm really glad you're here. Thanks. Buffy's glad too. She sure cries a lot less of you than she did with Angel. <laughs> Every day was like the end of the world. It's so she weird, like she was inserted like even into her secrets, you know? Mm -hmm. And that did not make him feel good at all. I think you've been really good for her. Sorry, uh, the, the human mind is very delicate. Just... If we did something, it can make things a lot worse, Buffy. We've done just about enough making things worse for one day, yeah? Why? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Uh, nothing. Anya broke it. Just tell her. No, you, it's better just to be honest. Great. She doesn't need to hear about your clumsiness right now. My clumsiness. You gotta tell her. You can't just be like, like oh yeah, me. I just slippery, handed a nuclear slippery. bomb to somebody that's Everything after you. Happened. Nothing to concern you. It's Guys. kind of important. Secrets don't make friends. Do friends don't make secrets. It's no biggie. She she just got an amulet in her. How did she get away with this bad mojo stuff? <laughs> but we got her money. No, it was her. I mean, their high priest Cole had great mystic powers. He forged an amulet with transmogrifying crystal. Okay, so she's making a monster. What for? What does it do? That's the part uh, we're working on. Well, you keep working on it. I'll go kill it. Then it may be reborn. Then it may serve. Dark incantations, always overwritten. Why can't they just cut? Oh, help. No. This is no good. I'm out of the moment. Yeah. And you're not giving me anything I can use. Right. I'm not hearing chances. Continue. Oh. All right. Big snake. The power is yours to see what is unseen. Well, say it and I'm gonna do this. Okay. Uh, she, she Wasn't there a bad guy first season that was like a big shadow thing called like Where? That creepy the first evil or something? Some kind of monster. And you let Buffy go after her? That's my thought. Let that is the thought. is not really a factor when she sets her mind to something. You know that. I don't know what kind of action you're looking for. Hey, I'm not trying to get school. You okay? I feel like everybody's pushing them apart. Slow Christ. I'm not saying they're my favorite couple, I just keep feeling like everybody keeps giving she him down. Like... Why are they not your favorite couple? It's kind of boring. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm really sad at one and I'm just mad at the other. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what the hell? Is she going like yet? Yeah, she's waiting for us. Tara and I did a mini patrol earlier, but the biggie snake was nowhere to be.
It knows. Well, I guess its task was just to find her, not to actually do anything. Things are actually really fast. The idea is that they're going so fast and have time to slow down. Yeah. That's cool. Do you know how impressive this was when the show aired with all this stuff going oh, on? Oh, sure. Especially because all the, the CG and whatnot. I really, really enjoy that they're still using practical, practical too. Yeah. Because I wish we used more practical nowadays. I agree. Not that it hasn't improved the CG and whatnot, but I would love to see. So Buffy just killed an animal. Yeah, like I was like, I was kind of doing that as well, but, um, I mean, it has to go or like get turned back into a little cobra, but it's not gonna. I, I think I should talk to Don alone. Okay. Um, do I have bed hair? I don't look like scary mom, do I? No. You look beautiful. Buffy. Nice turtleneck. Look pretty beat up. Minimal damage of the fighting kind. And it's all the other kind. It's okay. Just let it out. I'm right here. I can't. Not now. I was about to say she can't hear a heartbeat. That would be like... If I start now, I won't be able to stop. I definitely started crying, but didn't get the full release. And I kind of love how they wrote like that. It's one of those things that as soon as Buffy was told her mom had a tumor, all that she went through in that moment and the nurse coming by and being like, yeah, we're just, I know you need to process this. You need to like take time for yourself. And her just being like, I have to try to do something. That just really got me being like, you, have so much power so many other places and you don't have any power in the situation. I'm like tearing up now, I'm thinking about it. Yeah. Um, but everywhere she went, there was like Dawn, she couldn't cry in front of, she could, she had this baddie to deal with and she, she couldn't release those emotions. And I feel like that's how they kind of played this whole episode out for the audience also. And I kind of really enjoyed that. The one liberty you should be allowed to have is feel. And yet there's moments in life where you're not, you just can't, you can't because you, especially when you are the one that's meant to be strong, you are the one that's holding everything together and you didn't pick this, but you kind of have to, it's just, it's just what it is. <laughs> that's like making me sad. <laughs> <laughs> the reason why I don't like that relationship is it's just, it's so demanding. It's so, such a taxing relationship to, to, on Buffy's end, I think. Yeah to constantly validate somebody, to constantly have to reassure them that you love them is not something that should be a responsibility. That's something that you should know. And under this time, we see Buffy being so strong mm -hmm. and Riley can't reciprocate. He can't, he sees what she's going through. He sees how hard she's trying. He has to be so selfish right now when she is being so selfless. I don't want to hate on him because there are times, especially like everybody else making him feel that way. It wasn't just Buffy, it's everybody else placing doubt on him about mm -hmm. him and Buffy. And I, I do think that he is a very vulnerable character. He is in touch with that emotion of, I, I am needed, I need somebody to need me. Yeah. And that's not the relationship that Buffy needs. Right. That's, he can be perfectly happy with somebody else but he's the kind of person that needs somebody to rely on him and that's not what he's getting through this relationship. I don't want to say that he's a bad person because he hasn't approached her at all during this situation. So he hasn't put that 
as a forefront need like, hey, shut up and stop worrying about your mom and stop worrying about me or start worrying about me. And you didn't do that. And so. honestly, I mean, in this episode, and it happens quite frequently, to some degree sought after Xander. He needed some kind of support system because he doesn't have anybody but Buffy, and he can't really go to Buffy about this. Because Forrest is gone. <laughs> because Forrest is gone. Anyway. Xander doing the old Xander thing, which it sucks, because, you know, when I originally watched the show, I loved Xander, but I, and I don't hate him, but God, he's so awful sometimes. And he was proving that once more with this. It was just like, come on, buddy, you gotta... He's not very empathetic. No, and, and Xander <laughs> realized he may have gone too far with what he said, but... Yeah. Like, Riley needed it, and you weren't there for him, Xander, the way that you should have been. Instead, you, yeah. once again, point out other people's faults. But small of him to get bit by a vampire? I don't know if, one, he was suicidal in that moment, but if he was trying to turn himself into a vampire, that makes way more sense to me as a character choice because right, of what Spike said. Right, especially... Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because of what Spike said. Spike I made him believe, to oh, I need to be dark and... And broody and, yeah. and like Angel or kind of like Spike. What the heck, Spike? What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, definitely writers are taking the whole Spike and Buffy route, I think. <laughs> Okay, well, yeah. we'll see. This is another great episode of We Watched We Didn't and Buffy. We done watched it. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! We got through another episode. Of We Watched We Didn't. Now you watch We did. Yeah. And watch us watch We Didn't. Reading. And like this video. And subscribe. And do that to the bell. Channel. Yeah. And go and, to the Patreon. Yeah, because we need we need all the help in the world, clearly. <laughs> clearly. <laughs> Jeez.